Hi, everyone. Welcome. My name is Dee DeWitt, and I am the teacher, the instructor for this uh, Working the Roots class. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, I'm so excited about being able to teach through the Blackthorn School. Um, I've, I've met some of the folks who are part of this, and it is a wonderful organization um, for our communal education. And that really is a big part of what uh, Hoodoo Root Work Conjure is all about. It's about community and everything we need to do to sustain our community through many different trials and tribulations, as well as uh, for times of blessing. So um, a little bit about me. Uh, I have many years uh, as a clergy person. Um, I'm in a couple of different denominations. Um, I've served as a pastor in the past. Um, in the past decade or so, I've been a uh, chaplain, a hospice chaplain. So I deal a lot with death and dying, uh, with, with really helping people to transition into their ancestorhood. That's really how I see it. So um, many dying patients have taught me a lot about that process, about the spiritual phenomenon that happen around it. And really, the power of of how death and dying can um, either bring a family more closely together, bring a lot of healing, or um, sometimes families don't do well at all. Um, so you see a lot of ancestral issues being worked through, and ancestors are also um, part of the the heart and the core of of Hoodoo practice, um, as you will learn if you take the course. Also, uh, I myself have um, taken uh, different courses, um, different root work courses, hoodoo courses. There are a few out there. They're not bad. I'm not going to knock anybody else's work. But what I will say is most courses focus a lot on uh, content, on, on just giving people material, you know, homework, things to do, but they don't necessarily connect those homework assignments with uh, practical knowledge of, about with wisdom for, that comes just from the experience of um, doing work. You know, um, what do you do when a candle goes, goes a certain kind of way? You know, they don't really talk about that. They, they tell you how to fix a candle, how to make a love candle or a reconciliation candle or a cursing candle, but they don't tell you the art of it. It's my hope that um, in my course that I have indeed accomplished that, that I've given you, yes, the, the details and um, the materials in that regard, but even more importantly, that you get a sense of the art of hoodoo, um, that, that aspect of it that is, is jazz-like, where you have to improvise, you adapt, you think outside of the box. Um, you, you, you deal with the limitations that are in front of you, but you don't let those limitations define how you deal with a problem, deal with an issue, improve somebody's condition. Um, you, you just don't let it do that. You, you maintain the power of control because you understand how to adapt and adjust. And, um, I would like to think that in my course, I have laid it out in such a way where over the eight weeks that we'll be together. You will have a definite sense of that. You'll walk away with that and you'll feel empowered in a way that um, I've not really felt empowered about the other courses that I took. I, I really had to build this practice over time. Um, I would also say that I tend to identify the hoodoo that I practice as traditionalist and not traditional. And that's because to me, a traditional practitioner is someone who you know, come from a family lineage of hoodoo practitioners. And I do, it's in my blood, but there was a disconnect. Um, and so for a lot of people, a lot of African-Americans in particular, there is a disconnect of whatever the family used to do with the practice. And so some of us, you know, don't have those familiar connections anymore and we have to kind of cobble it together over time, you know, and, and, and through our own practice, you know, that's the other thing that, sets this course apart from some others too, that I really emphasize um, that it is your own practice that you will develop that will really determine your, your hoodoo, your take on it. And it's not going to look like someone else's or anyone else's because, 
You're going to have different interests. You have different ancestral spirits that walk with you. You're going to have um, different affinities, different um, uh, 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 different levels of abilities with the different kinds of workings that you can do in hoodoo, all of which is natural and normal. You know, we're not necessarily supposed to be uh, uh, an expert at every aspect of it. And as a matter of fact, the other piece that I believe will set this course apart from others is there is a communal aspect. You know, the Blackthorn School very graciously uh, utilizes Facebook discussion groups. And so that will be the way we will create um, a virtual community that some of the other courses I've taken do not do. You know, they have a Facebook presence, but they don't really um, generate and sustain community um, through the coursework that people do and beyond. You know, and that's really my hope that it's not just an eight-week course, but a, but a, but an opportunity for all of you who take part in this to be a part of and build a community that will sustain you, educate you, and empower you. Because some of the learning takes place in the context of community. You're, you might get stuck on a particular working and you log into the Facebook group and you see that we're having just a discussion on that. And, and you know, observing that and even participating in it the light bulbs go off for you so that you can do your work better. And that's what I really want for everyone who takes this course to, you know, really, really grow and develop your practice in the way that works for you um, and in a way that sustains you. Now, just in case any of you are worried, uh, I'm not just Christian. Uh, I'm, I'm not just engaged in Christian ministry and, I, and I'm a very left and leaning uh, Christian at that. I, I am also a Santero. Um, and a espiritista, so I have my own deep roots within um, African-derived traditions that also inform my root work. And, and for me, hoodoo, with all the other things I practice, is kind of the crossroads tradition. It's, it's the thing that binds them all together in many ways, because I always refer back to the principles in hoodoo to figure out how I'm going to do some of the spiritual work I do and some of the other traditions I practice. And you will you will encounter that too. You know, whether you're pagan, Wiccan, traditional witch, uh, ceremonial magician, um, uh, uh, practitioner of, of, of Kabbalah, whatever it may be, you are going to find that this tradition really is a crossroads tradition, that it allows you to put things together um, in some pretty cool way that maybe you not even thought of until you take this course. So I'll leave it there. I hope that you are excited, as excited as I am at this point and uh, interested in the course. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me or to the Black Lawrence School, and uh, we will follow up. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you. Bye-bye.